And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time since the 1988-89 season, your Eagles of North Carolina Central have swept the season series over the Aggies of North Carolina A&T. Final score, 71-66. You heard it live right here on the NCCU Sports Network. Final score here from the Corbett Sports Center. Eagles are victorious. Getting the season sweep over the Aggies of North Carolina A&T. 71-66 the final score. I'm Chris Hooks, play-by-play -play voice of the NCCU Sports Network with the head coach of the Eagles, the victorious one at that, Lavelle Moten. Coach, tough win, tough environment. I mean, you could have asked for anything more out of this game. Yeah, it was everything we expected. You know, this is, I love this place. It's the toughest venue to play in sports, so it's going to bring out the best in you, both as a coach and a player. And our, our primary focus was to just to be mentally tough and also physically tough because at this time of the year, toughness win basketball games. We're not going to out-scheme them. They're not going to out-scheme us. It's just going to boil down to we do what we do and we execute it and get all the 50-50 balls and the rebounds. And we were able to do that. Um, I wasn't particularly proud of our efforts in the initial. You know, I thought we were nervous. I, Justin almost broke the backboard with his first shot. Nick was fading away. Ray had some bad turnovers, so it was just nerves. And I, I, I was confident that once we calmed down, uh, we could we could play North Carolina Central basketball. So and we did. And it seemed like it was a it teetered a one-two three-point ball game midway point of the second half. It seemed like A and T got lost their cool a little bit, and we took advantage of it. Yeah, we did. You know, I I, I really don't know um, the sequence or the or the necessary order that it happened um, or why it happened. But I was just glad we were on the flip side of it because one thing we want to focus on is just being emotionally mature. And this is such an emotional game, and you got the dog pound talking to you. And I had to calm our guys down. I had to have a one-on-one -on -one with Dominique because they was hounding him pretty good all night, and he scored and flexed his muscles. And that's not indicative. That's not a representation of myself, this program, or NCCU. So I definitely apologize, you know, to, to our great university, you know, for that display. But, you know, the guys came out. And, and executed down the stretch. I didn't like how we finished the basketball game, and that's something we really have to work on. We have to stay, you know, mature and stay focused and step up to the line and just concentrate and make our free throws. Big win for this team here, eight and five in the conference. I know you don't necessarily worry about the standings, but um, there's a chance ending tonight that we may be tied for fifth place. And I know you're not necessarily worried about that, but again, it's all about positioning, and you're you're trying to 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 get and play your best ball right now. And I think you found a way to do that today. Just that time of year, February, you gotta you gotta hit your stride. You know, whatever or whoever you're gonna be as a team. And, um, you know, whatever blueprint that you laid at the beginning of the year, it, your, your play has to be parallel to that blueprint right now. Fortunately for us, it is. I really thought we came up big when we needed to. Jeremy Ingram hit some gigantic threes. Ray Willis, during that little run where A&T lost their cool, hit a huge three that got us up by eight. I mean, just talk about just, again, making significant plays at significant times. That's what it is, significant plays at significant times. And, um, you know, I thought in the first half we were unable to do that because we went outside in. That's not who we are. We got to go inside out. And in the second half, we went inside out. They collapsed on Dominique, and he's a wonderful passer. He has six assists with no turnovers. And he was able to find those guys, and they just stepped up and made some huge shots. All right, Coach, we move on. We take Indiana on Wednesday. Again, another tough environment for the Eagles. But again, we're, we're battle testing. We're ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. So we'll take it uh, one by one, and we'll enjoy this one and go out there and play what I think is one of the top 10 teams in the country. <laughs> well, <laughs> Just as usual as, as it always is here at North Carolina Central. Coach, appreciate your time. Great uh, job on the win. I'm sure the Eagle fans watching this are very excited about our program where we are right now. Congratulations on the victory. All right, thanks a lot, Chris. It's a nice play of the game. I think it's pretty obvious, Eagle fans. In the 71-66 series sweeping win over North Carolina a t it's Dominique Sutton. 24 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists. And Dominique, last year was C.J. Wilkerson with his 41 points. This year, it's you with your near double-double, uh, triple-double performance against the Aggies. Just talk about this environment and playing in this ball game and in this rivalry. Oh, man, you know, it was something that I was expecting, man. You know, being in a hostile environment, coming in here and, and getting a win on the, in a hostile environment against our rival, hey, that's big, you know. And we, we was fortunate to come in and, and play Central basketball and we come out with it. It seemed like it was just a normal rivalry game. It wasn't anything too exciting. It's some good plays here and there. And then about the midway point of the second half, this place goes berserk. Technical fouls left and right. How did you keep your cool in that situation? Now, you did get a technical, but it was after all that. Um, 
I mean, it was a couple of things that, you know, I, I said a couple of things to the guy, but, you know, it, it really wasn't nothing out of, out of proportion. And, you know, once I felt like I got in his mental mind, then, hey, and, and, and my teammates kind of seen that. So, hey, we, they jumped the board, and after that, we know we had them. To get a win in this environment, in this contest against this rival, you know, we're into the year with a five-game road, road trip to begin with. It's got to be huge for this team, and you guys have to realize that we're in a good position to really make a move into the upper echelon of the MEAC. Oh, man, I mean, it feels good to be on a two-game win streak, you know, and even better to come here in the hostile environment and get one against our rival on the road. So um, it, it shows a lot about our team, man, but, you know, that's one thing that we're not being consistent. You know, if we can be consistent, you know, we'll, we'll be even better. But, you know, we, we still in a work in progress, but as it gets down to the end, you know, we're just going to take this win and run with it and, you know, let it soak in tonight. But at the end of the day, we got to get ready for Indiana. We're not done yet, though, right? No, nah, we ain't done yet. We, we still on the move. We still got... Four, what, three games left in, in conference play, so um, we're going to see how it go. Talk about Ray Willis's performance tonight in the second half, hitting those free throws, hitting that big three during that run that got us the lead. Oh, Ray, I mean, that, that's what we, we need from Ray, you know, and he, he stayed poised in the second half and, and let the game come to him. You know, he didn't, he didn't force it, you know, like he was in the first half. So um, he was relaxed and he was calm, and, that, you know, that's, that's what happens when you let the game come to you, you know, instead of forcing things. So he played a tremendous second half for us and hit some big-time shots for us and down the stretch when we needed the most. Same thing with Jeremy Ingram. He's sort of been the spark all year long. Oh, uh, yeah. Once we can get him consistent, then we'd definitely be a, a problem to work with. But, you know, he, he played tremendous tonight. He had some big, some big time shots for us. And he, he basically gave me all six of my assists almost. So, you know, hey, that was even better. All right, Dominique, congratulations on the win. We'll talk to you before Wednesday's contest against Indiana. Yeah, see you there. That's Dominique Sutton, tonight's player of the game. 24 points, 12 rebounds, six assists for North Carolina Central as they beat A&T 71-66. MEAC Basketball. Thirteen institutions, one goal, the big dance. The 2012 MEAC Basketball Tournament, March 5th through 10th, Joel Coliseum in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. MEAC Madness.